you said Aloy ended it for good. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. I can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. The Spectre had instructions to... assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Decent enough. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? Serum with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah! Ah. Our weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Errand. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. 
The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osram that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. It's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Looks like some kind of data center. We might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. Zenith Research Lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? So, exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Ectogenic chambers, like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn Cradle facility. What were they for? Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. This place keeps...
all this stuff. I wonder what they would do. Yeah, that sounds about right. This is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. Find anything that might tell us what the asset is? I don't think so. So, um, how is Erend taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus. It's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the dawn and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. Control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? Wasn't there enough? Number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Oh, hello, 
Misfit. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least they don't have the Gaia Colonel to merge them with. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectre things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. Here it comes! There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Seals in. It's got me pinned down. 
Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Erend. Erend, I'm here. Watch out. That's the down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. The second you need me. She's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. I can figure out how that thing works. Maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. Whew. The snow brought the chill. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor hey, below Lord. the control room. Glad you made it back okay. okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her.
Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, hey boy. I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made on the way to Earth, on the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface, all so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded, too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me, so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth, for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah. I know. 
You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Are there survivors of the colony? You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Thanis dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or so how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. 
This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. We're going to die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. The feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. See, we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core, ostensibly this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Eleuthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub functions to get. It's a little loud, Aaron. I know. It makes you want to punch something. More like someone. Aloy. Hey, thought I'd, uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, uh, Reboot Code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Oh, that 
That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room. Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have. Purpose the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Ow! That is focus thing trying to kill me. This is where Zoe said we'd find the Grim Horns she needs parts from to heal Plainsong's land gods. I should let her know I'm here. Hey, Zoe. I'm near the Grim Horn site. Can you join me? I'll be there soon. Aloy, I'm glad we can do this together. The Grim Horns we're looking for should be just to the north. Let's go get those control cores. Thank you again for helping me. If this works, if we can heal the land gods, it will end a generation of suffering for my people. How do you think Fame and the Chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. I've had my disagreements with them, but I'd like to see they'll be happy to be wrong on this. There, the Grimhorns. And they're not alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your lead.
giving up. to make it break. Did control it. cores? You okay? I can take them from here.
I'll take those cores, Aloy. Two control cores, as requested. Thank you. Gaia showed me a way to scan them and take what we need to update the reboot code. I'll head back to base and get started. When I was a child, there was always enough to eat. The land gods provided for us, and every season, we celebrated them. My happiest memories come from those times. Do you really think we can bring them back? We'll make it happen. Thank you, Aloy. So we'll probably need some time to sort through those cores. I should do something else in the meantime. Fill my patch with these later. I see you, champion. Sit. Heard the Lowlanders have been fighting rebels by the coast, west of the Grove. If you're still helping the Chief handle those scabs, you might want to talk to Kregella at Tide's Reach. If I make it out there, I'll see what I can do. Back again. Now that you have those control cores, are you ready to reboot the land gods in Plainsail? Not yet. Gaia told me the reboot code has to be altered using data from the cores. She updated my focus with software to accomplish this task, but apparently it's very complicated. It'll take time. Well, let me know if you need any help. I will. I should probably go. I'll be here if you need me.
finally something good. Well, they definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to fell the tracks those riders left behind. That Osaram camp Talana and I were trying to find should be around here. Be 
welcome out then. I'm still getting a signal from my focus. Looks like we have company. Have I got news for you, Red? Are you feeling bold? There's a Tanakh outpost nearby. The rebel kind. Be careful if you plan on going south. A few of our Delvers headed that way after we first arrived. Said they were tracking a tall neck. Why? Never thought to ask. But we haven't heard from them since. Thanks for the warning. Out there. Overriding it should help me. Good data on the surrounding area. Talana, glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Osara knocking at your door. And you are? This is Raggart. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thorn Marsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but he was dead set on going. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch-black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. But you best talk to Porgov about that. He knows a bit more than I do. Did Amada say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we've got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. There are more of you? They're the ones we followed out here in the first place. And then there are all the other folk, who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Smoke. Could be from a camp. Maybe that girl was out. wound up to... Than a twisted Some spring. Kind of she didn't have to hit me. How'd they end up well, she didn't like you going through her parcel. She warned you twice. I was just curious, is all.
close with the camp. But where is everyone? My focus might show me more. She's okay. Feels cooler. this mountain.
the wild day. Day. Defended the cooler. We thank you. I'm honored to greet you. The Galler attacked the cooler. I wasn't asking you to. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. Say the chief. Yes. I can work with this. What are you doing? Envisioning the best armor you'll ever own, child. Worthy of Hikaro's champion. I didn't ask you to make me anything. <laughs> but I offered nonetheless. You should be honored. Any soldier worth their marks wears armor of my making. Even Chief Hikaro. Get me the right resources and I'll craft something that'll make you the envy of all three clans.
My offer still stands. A soldier like you should only wear the best armor. And that's what you'll get at Oka's Forge. <laughs> you can trust the Tanakh when it comes to come. Thornmarsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well, I'm here now, so spill it. Who is Amadis, really? Like I said before, he helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine out in the wilds. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth. Told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. She was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was all right, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield, but when he learned that the Tanakh took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on then. Do you think Nessa might still be alive? I doubt it. Any Karja prisoners from the Red Raids would have been killed or returned home by now. Then what's Amadis after? I think he just needs to know. Ha! 
Over here, you flaming hunk of scrap. That's him. The fire claws right on his heels. Come on. Got you. Alana? We've got your back. I can grab this for my stash later. Talana, I... You were supposed to let me know you were okay. I was going to send the message right after I crossed into the desert with an Osaram caravan. But when it became clear that the tunnel had collapsed behind us, I figured the only thing I could do was press on. Seeing as you found a way out here, however, clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry. 
The last thing I wanted was to worry you. So, you must be Amadis. And you must be Aloy. Talan has told me a lot about you. And I guess you must know about me. Uh, a little. We know you're headed for the rot. But where are you hoping to find there? A clue. Or a shred of one. Anything about Ness's fate. Maybe she died on the battlefield. Or maybe she wasted away in that prison. Either way, I have to know. Talana told me about you and Nessa during the Red Raids. But you kept her secret. We were both assigned to the Southern Spear Division. Our orders were to push into Tanakh territory through the tunnel. She was proud to serve the Sunda at first. But as the atrocities mounted, we both saw the raids for what they were. And the two of you grew close? We did what we could to protect innocent lives. It felt like we were the only ones who objected to the slaughter. And, yes, we were close. Until the Battle of the Burning Blooms. What happened at the Battle of the Burning Blooms? I had intel that the Tanakh forces were greater than we had anticipated. I tried to convince my commander to halt the attack. He was a drunken lout. And when I threatened to reveal his incompetence to Karja High Command, he pulled a knife on me. So I killed him. In self-defense. It was still murder. I was condemned. But I thought at least I could still save Nessa. I was too late. By the time I got to the battle, the fields were already burning. Our soldiers slaughtered or missing. What's more, the commander I had killed was from a powerful noble house. They put a bounty on my head. I've been on the run ever since. The Red Raids are long over. Sun King Avad would pardon you if he knew... The Sun King can't help me. A pardon from Avad won't stop bounty hunters eager to claim their prize. So, you and Talana, um... Sounds like the two of you had an adventure out in the wilds. Clawstriders, a hunter-killer, mercenaries, a shell-snapper... Nothing could get in our way. A scruffy hermit in the woods certainly tried. That was foolish of him, in hindsight. Well, we're here now, so let's head to the Rot. I can't ask you to come with me. I feel bad enough you've come this far. I didn't come all this way just to leave you now. We'll see this through together. I know better than to try to talk you out of it. Come then. The Rot's not far. The rot's along the shore, but we'll have to stick to the woods to avoid being seen. How did you find it? I overheard a Tanuk patrol from the nearby village talking about it. Figured it out from there. What were you gonna do if we hadn't found you? Take it on alone? I only need to question one guard. Figured I'd grab someone when they're by themselves. Well, now you have us. We're getting close. Just a little further. There it is. The rot. Those are Regal's rebels. They're waging civil war against the rest of the Tanakh. They must have taken over the prison. Then they would have killed any of the guards. They were my last hope of finding out if Nessa was there. Maybe not. There might still be some clue inside. Even after all this time? Aloy can see much more than you or I. And let's do it. Any scrap of hope is better than nothing. We'll have to find another way in. The front gate looks impenetrable. And there's no way we're scaling those walls. You two stay here. I'll see if I can find another way in and get that gate open. I should check around the sides. Might be a way in from the water. <laughs> 